Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will walk you through how to create heat map visualization using only standard Power BI visualizations. Now, heat maps are very useful if you want to identify outliers using color intensity. Heat maps can be also useful if you want to display percentage rates, for example, compliance rates or utilization, and it will easily help end users to identify low performers or high performers. Now enough of talking and let's get started. And here we are in our Power BI desktop file and I will show you this example how to create these two heat maps. Now the only difference between these two heat maps is because this one has values, this one doesn't have values. Now let's go back to our blank canvas. And to build heat map visualization, we will use one standard Power BI visualization that we will transform into heat map, and that is matrix visualization. So select matrix visualization. Let's make it bigger a little bit. Now let me show you what we're going to present in this heat map. So in first heat map, we want to see SLA rate percentage per each employee by month. Now let's go back to our heat map tab, select matrix visualization, select data and in rows, let's add assigned to, and this will give us a list of the names. In columns, we will add month name because we want to present values per each month and let's select month name like this. And in values, we will add value that we want to present. Usually that is a measure. And in my case, that will be SLA compliance rate. It looks like this normal matrix visualization. And now let's format it first, select format pane and let's remove totals. So go to column subtotals, turn them off. Same for row subtotals, turn them off. First thing that we are going to do is we will remove these two blue lines. And to do that, let's go to layout and style presets and change style to none. And now this, this will be green line, which works much better for us. Next thing, what we are going to do is we will transform this matrix visualization into heat map using conditional formatting option. So let's go to our format pane and select cell elements and in cell elements select apply settings to measure that you have added as value and turn off sorry turn on background color and as you can see rbi already applied some rules and we got type of heat map only we do not want to have a blue color we will use purple color for this example and let's select formula button conditional formatting and we will leave format style to be gradient values only here we will add value that we want to present and that will be sla compliance rate and minimum value usually it is lowest value as predefined by power bi and that will be white and highest value will be dark purple so for low performers or for those one who have low utilization, they will have white box. And for the ones that are high performers, we will see dark purple. Now let's select OK. And it looks like something like this. And as you can see, lowest value is 63% and this cell is white. I don't want to use lowest value instead of it. Usually you should have some targets. And in my case, lowest value should not be below 70%. And to do that, we will change this lowest value to custom. And here in enter value, we will type 0 0.7 as this is 70%. So any value that is 70 or below 70% will be white. Highest value will be purple. There is one more small trick. Usually, for compliance rates, we have targets. And in my case, target is 90%. And let's add target here as well. So select 
add a middle color and for target we will select this standard purple color like this and it will be custom value and since target is 90% I will type 0 0.9 so anything that is within target it will be purple above target dark purple so let's select ok and now as you can see it looks much better we can uh, see clearly from here that Emily Chen is high performer while Sarah Brown is low performer now let's format this a little bit in our first example we do not have values so let me remove these values and we will do that if we go back to cell elements and turn on conditional formatting for font color like this and select conditional formatting and let's apply same rules as we did for background color and lowest value will be changed to custom 0.7 color will be white highest value will be dark purple and let's add middle color that will be 0.9 or 90 percent and for this value we will use standard purple color and select okay and here it is this is our heat map it looks much better much cleaner and let me just add one more thing so we can have a bigger space between each cell and we will do this if we go up in format pane and select grid and turn on horizontal grid line and vertical grid line and let's just change width to 2 and here it is now we have bigger space and we achieved a little bit better design now next step what i usually do you don't have to do this is i would remove this assign to title and you can do that by double clicking on assign to so you can rename it and just remove everything leave one space press enter and now we do not have assigned to title anymore also if you want to make columns a little bit bigger let's expand them like this what i would usually do is i would set this column titles in the center so to do that select again visualization go to format pane and in column headers change header alignment to center and now it is centered and it looks much better now let me show you how to create heat map with values we won't repeat all steps let's just copy and paste this visualization like this and to add numbers let's go back to cell elements here we have font color uh, conditional formatting is applied we want to turn that off turn it off and now we have black uh, values and for this example it would be best to have white values now now to do that go to specific column select SLA compliance rate text color change it to white or any color you want set alignment to center to have a uh, centered values and let's make them bold and to make values bold we will go to values expand values and select bold option and that's it this is our second type of heat map and that's it thank you very much for watching if you find this video interesting or you're going to use this heat map and you learned something new leave a like and of course if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and see you in one of my next videos bye